In the Security Council success, the leader of the Chinese Communist delegation, Mr. Wu, is seen taking his place. And then the delegate of the Republic of South Korea, who had a question to ask about the Chinese. Why do they come here with unclean hands? I ask again, why does this group come here with the hands that drip with the blood, the blood of the United Nations troops, the blood of the Korean people? The British point of view was given by Sir Gladwin Jeb. Our policy must therefore be directed to bringing the military operations to a close. Not only our aims in the Far East, but also our hatred of war and the realization that even as I speak, my own countrymen are being killed in Korea and Malaya imposes this on us. If the representatives of the Central People's Government are capable of listening to reason, I would beg them to listen to this plain statement of fact. And America's Secretary of State, Mr. Atchison, made a special film talk on the subject of Red Chinese intervention. No one can guarantee that war will not come. The present crisis is extremely serious. Whether reason will prevail depends only partly upon us. We must hope and strive for the best. We must prepare for the worst. In London, a visit was paid to Mr. Attlee by the French Premier, Monsieur Pleven, and Monsieur Schumann, Foreign Minister. After the talks, a complete identity of views was reported to have been reached. Also in Britain, Sir David Kelly, British Ambassador to Russia. Officially, he'd come home on leave, but obviously first-hand news from Moscow is most important at a time like the present. When Mr. Attlee left for Washington, he had a big send-off at London Airport, as you can see and hear. Well, I'm very much looking forward to seeing Mr. Truman again. It's five years since I've seen him, and I'm hoping to renew my acquaintance, and I hope that our talks will be for the general good and for the cause that we all have at heart, the peace of the world. Thank you very much, indeed. The Prime Minister was flying over with a party of 17 military and official advisers. The CIGS, Field Marshal Sir William Slim was one of them, and the Foreign Secretary was there to see the Premier and his party off. Mr. Attlee's visit to Mr. Truman received warm approval on both sides of the Atlantic. 